The Observer is one of the most interesting components of Redstone, and one that brought many changes to the Redstone community. Welcome to a new video of VueBrother161, and today we will see the Observer and many of its characteristics, so let's begin. We begin seeing its crafting receipt, where we can see it is built with 6 cobblestone, 2 pieces of redstone dust, and a quartz, and that's how we obtain an Observer. The first thing we need to see is that it is a directional block. As you can see, its front side is this face shape. And its back side is this piece where it emits its redstone signal. In order for us to give a direction to the observer, we just have to place the block and the observer will be facing in the same direction the player is. That way you can face in six directions. East, west, north, south, up and down. What the observer will do is detect any changes in the block it has just in front of it. The observer will detect block state changes, which must not be confused with block updates. For example, if we place a block in front of the observer, you can see that, briefly, the observer transmitted a redstone signal. The same thing happens when we remove the block. So the observer detects that block state change, that is from a complete block to a block of air and back. So in that case, one tick later, it emits a redstone signal of one tick of duration and a power of 15. So what kind of block state changes can it detect? In this case we have a small list. For example, a change of cross dot configuration of redstone dust, opening and closing a fence gate, opening and closing a trapdoor, changing the modality of a daylight sensor, plowing the land, changing the pitch of an old block, activating a drip leaf, walking on a redstone ore, pressing and unpressing a button, carving a pumpkin, stripping a lug placing a disc, as well as removing it, and some examples of block state changes where a player is not required. For example, if a snow layer places over a grass block, grass spreads, also with mycelium, any kind of vines growing, growing attempts from saplings, of course this one will not grow because it has a glass block over it, and also growing stages of crops. Also block state changes, where these kinds of blocks interact with other blocks that are placed adjacent to them. Just like iron bars, fences, glass panes, nether brick fences, walls, stairs. Also another characteristic is that observers can be moved by pistons. And also they emit a redstone signal when detecting that they are placed in front of a new block. And so they detect this new block and emit a signal. This works for the extension as well as the contraction of the piston. Also an observer can detect when another observer is detecting a change. Which allows us to make these observer chains. The longer the chain the longer it will take for the signal to spread. Because each observer takes one tick of time. And here we have an example where we have observers in the sites detecting each observer of the chain. This way we can see the signal traveling. A very simple circuit we can build using observers is this one. Since the duration of the pulse emitted by an observer is only one tick, a sticky piston can only push or pull back a block during this signal duration, since it requires a longer time in order to do two actions in the same signal. Here we can right click the no block. and the observer will emit a one tick duration pulse, so the sticky piston can only spit out the block or contract it in one turn. 
So in order for the sticky piston to retract this redstone block, we need to send another signal. So this circuit, the no block, observer, sticky piston, redstone block, allows us to build a circuit called a flip-flop. So one right click changes the state from on to off or off to on. Another thing we can do is place an observer observing another one. So observer 1 will see observer 2 detecting changes. And likewise observer 2 will observe observer 1 making changes. This makes for a very short loop. This makes a very fast clock. But there is a phenomenon where if this observer, instead of being placed by hand by a player, is pushed by a piston, this clock actually activates faster. This one is also known as a 2 tick clock. This clock fires each 2 ticks, or what is the same, 5 times per second. The last application I want to show you is about vertical transmission lines. So, transmitting a signal horizontally isn't that difficult, it's just a redstone dust line. And if the signal gets too long, we can make use of redstone repeaters. But vertical lines have always been a headache. Especially when you just want to make them one block wide. So this is an expensive but compact solution, which also takes some delay. You can see in this case, observers are facing down. So the observer will power the block. The block will change the state of this hopper. And the block state of this hopper will be detected by the observer. Just remember that when a hopper is powered, it is disabled, and when it has no power, it is enabled. And that way the change continues. Observer block hopper, observer block hopper, to the top. Of course we can do this with our blocks, for example no blocks, which have the same function that when they are powered, they suffer a block state change. And we can do that with other blocks that change their block state when receiving a redstone signal, for example with fence gates. Well, it has been a short video reviewing the observer. There are many more circuits and we can analyze them in another video. But that has been all for today. Thank you for watching this video. This has been Big Brother 161 and remember, I will be watching.